The key challenges that operators are facing today with managing their radio networks is essentially based on the fact that the data throughput, the data volume, grows exponentially, while at the same time, the average revenue per user stays more or less flat or is even declining. And that triggers the challenge for the operator. On one hand, they have to squeeze out more of their existing investment. And on the other hand, they have to be very careful with where and how they are planning their additional capex. So investments, additional investments into the network. At Teoko, we help them with both. So on one hand, uh, we help them with analyzing and optimizing the radio networks by means of spectrum refarming, uh, optimization of the, the spectrum use, analyzing and optimizing the bottlenecks in the network, and even automating all these processes, the optimization processes, therefore reducing the operational cost. On the other hand, we are actually having a full set of uh, services and solutions that help the operators to uh, better plan the next investments into the network. This is one of the particular strengths that we have at Tioco because we are not just using the operational data to do the next phase of planning, but we are also using the cost aspect and the, uh, therefore we can maximize the return on investment for anything that comes in future. One of the key requirements for 5G is scalability, meaning we have to provide very broadband wireless access with massive data rates to very low data rate uh, services that come very infrequent. And this is the latter is actually one of the key requirements for the Internet of Thing applications. So while Coverage is critical for these applications. The speed and capacity is actually to be compromised to achieve that consistent coverage. From a planning and optimization perspective on the radio network, this means that we also need a lot more flexibility to address these future needs. Also, uh, we need to consider very different business cases. So operators and CSPs, they have to consider not just the end user as their customer, but planning and optimization also uh, becomes more important for third party uh, providers uh, of services, particularly in the field of the Internet of Things. SON or self-organizing networks are actually well established uh, uh, today. It is all about automating processes that have been done to a great extent manually in the past. So for example, uh, the introduction of a small cell or of a base station itself uh, with LTE is a lot faster and requires a lot less uh, manual interactions than it was with UMTS about 10 years ago. At Tioco, uh, we are addressing SON by providing uh, software solutions uh, that allow our customers to, to automate the radio uh, optimization, the network uh, optimization. So, for example, we have uh, uh, SON solutions deployed in the field where the software automatically identifies issues in the radio networks, processes the solution for it, and implements that to the radio network without human interaction. By that, we are reducing the operational cost significantly. At Teoko, we provide both software solutions as well as services. And depending on geographical region, uh, we, have, we see slightly different demands. Sometimes, when the operator does not have the skill set within the, uh, uh, their own teams, we are many times asked to help them out to take a completely risk-free uh, offering where we, where we are taking care of the data, where we are taking care of the processing, where we are taking care of the implementation, so that for the operator, we are like a fully managed service outsourcing 
uh, uh, partner.